I am Rakina Botts. I am a certified personal trainer and group fitness instructor for Ascension St. John Jane Phillips Health for Life. I've been asked to show you guys some exercises today that you can do during this COVID-19 pandemic where we're all stuck at home. The exercises I'm going to show you today are going to be geared more towards our senior citizens. A few things to keep in mind. Everybody is um, at a different fitness level, so make sure if you decide to join me or try these on your own that you are doing what works best for you. We all have different aches and pains and you know your body best, so you just do whatever feels best for you. We're going to get right into these exercises. We're going to start off with some push-ups. We are not going to get down to the floor, so I'm going to show you how to modify that. I want you to find an empty space against the wall and we're going to get started. All right, hands are going to be up against the wall, about shoulder height, just past shoulder width apart. You want to pull your belly button into your spine, and we're just going to go down towards the wall, and you're going to push yourself back out. The closer you are to the wall, the easier it's going to be, so if you want to make that harder, you can step those feet out. That's going to make that push-up be a little bit harder for you. All right, moving into our back, you are just going to stand up nice and tall against the wall. We're going to work on posture here. You might be surprised how hard it is just to get those shoulders back against the wall. Stand up nice and tall here. We're going to go into some wall angels. We're going to take those arms up over our head, pull that down, squeeze those shoulder blades, and take it back up. Now if that bothers your shoulders, then I'm going to show you a modification. So all you have to do here is just pull those shoulders back, squeeze those shoulder blades, and release. A lot easier on the shoulders, but we're still working on our posture, still contracting those back muscles. All right, we're going to come around and have a seat in a chair. This time we're going to focus on our biceps. You can grab weights if you have those at home, but I know a lot of people aren't going to have those, so I am just going to show you how you can use some water bottles to do the same thing. You can use soup cans, whatever you have handy that you think might work. So we're going to sit up nice and tall, elbows into your side. We're going to curl this up and take it back down. Curl up and back down. All our movements are going to be slow and controlled. I'm only doing a few repetitions for time's sake today, but at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a little more guidance on how many reps you should do, how often you should do these, and all that good stuff. All right, we're going to go into some triceps. So we're going to set one of those down and just turn to the side so that you can see a good view here. Elbow is going to stay stationary as you push that weight back and bring it in. Work in the back of your arm here. Again, we don't want to be throwing that around. Okay, so this is one of those muscle groups that everybody wants to know. How can I tone that up a little bit more? All right, so we want to make sure that we're doing it the right way. Okay, let's switch to the other side. If you do it on one side, we want to make sure that we get the other side as well. All right, very good. We're going to go right into some sit to stand for our lower body. So for this, we just want to cross those hands over our chest. Your feet are going to be about shoulder width apart. We're just going to stand up out of your chair and sit back down. So if this is too much for you, you can do just a basic squat. What we want to make sure is that you're still pushing those hips back and you're sitting back into it and that you're not pushing those knees forward. Putting all that pressure onto your knees is not good. So we want to make sure that you're still sitting back into it. Those knees don't go out over your toes. All right, very good. That exercise is going to be really good to help you um, getting up out of a chair that might be too low for you or might be too soft and doesn't have the hand rests for you. So that's a good one to practice just to keep those legs nice and strong. We're going to move into leg extensions. All right, sit up nice and tall. You're going to lift your knee up, extend it out, and bring it in. Still sitting up nice and tall, working the quadriceps here, the tops of the thighs. All right, we want to do the other side. If you want to make it a little harder, you can move forward in your chair. That's just going to add a little bit more pressure to the tops of the legs, but we want to make sure that our form is still good. So we want to make sure we're not doing this, trying to get that leg out if it's too hard. So we still need to sit up tall, pull that belly button in. Nice, good form. All right, very good. 
Okay, so next we're gonna stretch out our shoulders and our neck a little bit. We're all probably a little bit stressed right now with everything that's going on. So we're just gonna stretch that out a little bit. Let's take our head to the side. You're gonna grab hold, pull gently, press that hand down and hold. And let's take it to the other side. All right, good job. Let's just look over our shoulder. Other side. All right, you guys, that was just a few simple exercises that you can incorporate at home. So it's really important to add some of these into your daily routine if you're not already. Make sure that you're getting some type of physical activity in a day. If you aren't doing anything right now, start small, maybe just five minutes, that's all right. Um, try to build up, build up to 30 minutes if you can. Um, I try to encourage you to walk. If you have an area outside where you're able to get out and walk, especially today's a beautiful day outside, there's sunshine and we know we need it, right? That's gonna help us, help our attitudes and our moods. So get outside and walk if you can. If you're not able to get outside, then I would encourage you maybe while you're watching TV during the commercials to incorporate some of these exercises that I've just shown you. I don't know if you're like me, but with everything that's going on, it is a little bit more stressful and it adds a little bit more anxiety to our um, lives. And so anxiety can bring depression, which um, exercise really helps with anxiety and depression and stress. For me, exercising really helps my mood. So if I'm not in a very good mood, then um, a lot of times I'll just get up and do a nice little workout and it kind of works out my frustrations and makes me feel better. So it's a good idea to incorporate some of these things in just to try to keep your physical health up, not just um, for the exercise aspect of it, but for our mental health as well. Something else to mention is nutrition. It's really easy to kind of let that go when we're not able to get out and about. So it's good to make a plan. Write down what you want to have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Write down what you're going to allow yourself to have for snacks. Once you've ate that for the day, make that be it. Don't have anything else. And that's going to help you stick to a routine. And that's going to help you not get too far off of track on what you should and shouldn't be eating. I would also encourage you to try to make a routine when it comes to your fitness as well. So maybe you want to set some goals. I think that's a great thing to do to try to keep you accountable. So what you could do is possibly if you're not doing anything right now, you're going to set a goal to try to do each one of these exercises that I've shown you once a day. I would encourage you to try to do anywhere from 10 to 12 of these repetitions on each one of the exercises, at least one set. Once you feel comfortable with that, maybe you can set a goal to add in a second set and maybe even a third set. As you set these goals, that's going to help you be accountable. You could also set some goals that you want to try to achieve in the upcoming week. So maybe you're not able to do, but just, I don't know, five of the wall push-ups and you want to be able to do 12 of them. There's a goal right there. Write that down and see if you can get to that. I would also encourage you to make it a routine. So set a day, set what time that you think that you would like to do your workouts each day. Giving yourself a routine is also gonna help keep you more accountable and help you achieve these goals that you're trying to achieve as well. Okay guys, that's it, my time's up. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you got some good tips out of it. Um, hopefully soon we are going to be all out and amongst each other, I definitely miss seeing everyone and um, being able to just go out and do what we do, right? So anyways, until then, I want you guys to stay safe and be well.